Welcome to the BMS Weapons Employment Guide. Uh, this episode will be on laser guided bombs. I have two uh, GBU 12s here that I'm taking out to uh, Kotar, the uh, Korea Tactical Range. Now, these are uh, typically dropped uh, in CCRP mode with the uh, TGP. So, if you're unfamiliar with uh, TGP operation, uh, I recommend you view my. Um, BMS Avionics Guide episode on the TGP. If we go into air-to-ground override mode here, as you can see I have my TGP called up on the right MFD and the FCR on the uh, left. As for the bombing profiles in the SMS page, this is uh, personal preference. Again, we're dropping in CCRP. Um, since this is a training demonstration, I'm going to be dropping them in singles, making two passes over the target. Uh, in practice, it's better to drop all your bombs on the first pass and get out of the target area as soon as possible. That is because your chances of getting uh, shot down increase for every second you're over the target area. Now the only other thing that we can change, and this is totally optional, is the auto lays time. Uh, to do this hit list 0 and 5. This takes you to the uh, laser DED page here. The laser code is currently not implemented, um, but if you go down to laser time, the default is 8 seconds. So 8 seconds from impact, the uh, laser will automatically fire. Uh, I like to change this to 10 seconds just to give the bomb a little extra maneuvering room. Okay, so now we're at Kotar. Um, I'm going to do two passes. The first pass is going to be a level delivery, and the second pass will be a uh, five degrees nose down delivery. So let's go ahead and designate our targets first here. Make the uh, TGP SOI, command area track with TMS up. And let's take out that center target right there. We also want to make sure that we are in master arm and the laser arm is on. Pause this for a second. If you notice here in the TGP, now that it, we are armed and ready, um, you'll see ready displayed above SMS on the bottom of the page. That indicates that master arm is set to arm and the L right next to area in the center is uh, indicating that the laser is also armed. When that L flashes, it means that the laser is firing. And firing can be done by pressing the first trigger detent, which unfortunately does not work on my joystick, or occurs automatically before impact. And if you remember, we set that uh, auto lays time to 10 seconds prior to impact. In the HUD here, you can also see uh, next to um, the master arm status, uh, it says arm, it also has L, also indicating that uh, the laser is armed. And again, when it is flashing, it indicates that the laser is firing. Below that, um, underneath 1.9, which is our um, highest registered G for the flight so far, it says CCRP, that is our currently selected bombing mode. And on the bottom right, F16.4, that is the slant range to target in nautical miles. So 16.4 miles from the nose of the airplane to the target. Below the uh, slant range um, is a countdown timer that currently reads 1 minute and 2 seconds. Uh, this has two functions. The first function is uh, countdown until the loft queue, which um, we will not cover in this episode. Uh, after the loft queue has disappeared, the countdown will start over again, and that countdown is your time to release. Below that, 05 is the currently selected steer point, and 16.1 uh, is um, range to that steer point in nautical miles. As you can see in the HUD, there is a uh, vertical line that is the bomb fall line, and you want to get the FPM the fall line doesn't have to be dead center on the FPM, but uh, somewhere close will do.
And there at the top of the bomb fall line is the uh, release queue that is counting down. Again, this is for the uh, lofting queue. There's the lofting queue. We're going to ignore that for now. And now you can see the um, release queue has started again and the countdown timer now reads 14 seconds. Uh, this is your time to release. It is extremely important to press and hold the pickle button when that timer reaches 2 seconds. Any earlier or later than that and the bombs may not come off the rail. And that is usually where a lot of new people um, make a mistake is that they either don't hold the pickle button or they press and hold it too late or too early and the bombs will not release. So remember two seconds before release press and hold. And once the bomb is released you're going to make a uh, left hand turn with about 30 degrees of bank and hold that um, until bomb impact. That gives a clear view of the target with the TGP and an unobstructed view of the laser uh, because if you turn any other direction uh, it is possible that the airframe may mask the laser and the bombs will miss. Also note that uh, smoke and clouds can also obscure the laser and cause a miss. Although that uh, rarely happens. One in hot from the north. Two seconds, pickle and hold. Paveway. Trim it out. The heavier the bombs, the worse the trim is going to be. In our designator turn now. And the laser is firing. Okay, let's go for a, uh, another target, this time with a uh, 5 degrees nose down CCRP delivery. To area track. Let's find a tank here. And point track, there we go. Point in hot from the north. Paveway. This time I'm doing a 60 degree designator turn, but uh, let's get that a bit shallower. And that's it for the uh, laser guided bombs.